The AIMSTRIP Urine Analyzer 2 is a manual reflectance photometer that analyzes the intensity and color of light reflected from the reagent areas of a urinalysis test strip. It is specifically designed for improved accuracy and efficiency. It can read up to 120 strips per hour. In this video, we will review the most commonly used features of the AIMSTRIP Urine Analyzer 2. To load the printer paper into the internal printer, open the printer cover by pulling up on the tab. Place the new paper roll into the printer paper compartment with the paper unrolling from underneath and towards the compartment wall. Pull about 4 inches or 10 centimeters of paper past the top edge of the paper compartment. Return the printer cover to its original position and snap it firmly into place. Once the analyzer is turned on, it will run a self-test. After the self-test is completed successfully, the following screen will appear. Verify that the strip type showing up on the screen corresponds to the type of strip that you will be running. If it is, press Cancel to reach the main screen, also called Initial Screen. If the strip type on the screen is not the strip type you intend to run, press the Enter key to cycle through the type of strips available on the analyzer until you reach the one you need. Once the desired strip type shows on the screen, press Cancel to reach the initial screen. Press Menu from the initial screen to access the test settings analyzer configuration, and QC test. Use the up and down arrows on the keyboard to move along the menu. Press Enter to select an item on the menu. This is true for all menu screens. Start by selecting the test settings to input the type of strip and pressing Enter to change the strip type. Each strip type name defines the number of test parameters and each press of the Enter key cycles through all options. Keep pressing Enter until the type of strip matches the strips to be used. In this case, we'll use 10 parameters. After selecting the type of strip, select the mode and press Enter to change the mode. There are three test mode options. Routine test, which is used for normal urine testing. Stat test is used for emergency urine testing. Lastly, QC test is used for test positive or negative controls. You can also select the test number and enter a new test number, then press Enter to confirm. The first digit in the number will depend on the test mode. The first digit will be 0 for Routine, 1 for Stat, and 2 for QC test. The first digit is fixed and cannot be changed. Next, in the test settings after Test Number is Continuous Test. Select Continuous Test and press Enter to cycle the settings to Off or On. If the continuous test is off, you can test one strip at a time, which is also called single test mode. This performs 60 tests per hour. If the continuous test is on, you can use test strips one after another. Continuous test mode performs up to 120 tests per hour. The circled arrow symbol will be displayed when the continuous test is on. Next is Operator. Select Operator ID and press Enter to increase the number by 1. After the number reaches 10, it will revert back to 01. The last option in the test settings is the units. Select the units and press Enter to cycle the units between conventional or SI units. Once you finish all your selections for the test settings, select Exit and press Enter to return to the main menu. You can configure your analyzer by selecting Analyzer Configuration and pressing Enter. Select the printer's setup to navigate through the printer properties. Choosing Internal in Select Printer prints the results on the internal printer. External in Select Printer prints the results on an external printer. Next option in the printer setup is Print Darkness. Print Darkness provides the level of darkness in the display. It ranges from 1 to 9. The darkest is 9 and the default is 5. The next option is the Printer Mode. For Printer Mode, selecting Normal prints the standard font size, while selecting Expand prints a larger font size. Next is Auto Print. Selecting On prints the results after each test. The printer icon is displayed. Selecting Off requires pressing the Print key to print the results and the printer icon is not displayed. Last but not least is the Print Copies. Print Copies defines the number of test result copies printed at one time. It can be set from 1 to 3. Once you've finished your selections for the printer setup, select Exit and press Enter to return to the main menu. 
Now you are back in the Analyzer Configuration screen. Select Sound and press Enter to cycle the options to Off, On, and Prompts. You also have the ability to use a barcode reader. Select the barcode reader and press Enter to display Yes to allow use of a barcode. Press Enter to cycle between Yes or No. Yes displays prompt for full usage of the barcode reader. The barcode reader icon will be shown. The barcode reader needs to be set on Yes in order to manually enter patient ID numbers. At the time of the test, the analyzer will prompt you to enter the patient ID, which can be done by using the numeral keys of the keyboard. If the optional barcode reader is not present and you do not use patient ID numbers, this setting can be set to No. The next selection is the language. Select the language and press Enter to change the current language. Each time Enter is pressed, the language changes. Then, set the current date and time. Select Date Time and press Enter. This will allow you to set the date format, time format, and set date and time. Select Set Date and Time and press Enter. The first digit to be changed in the date will be highlighted. You can press up or down arrows to change the number one at a time, then press left or right arrows to progress to the next digit to be changed. Make sure that you enter the correct date. Once done, press Enter to save the changes and exit the screen or press Cancel to not accept any changes and exit the screen. Either key will return you to the previous screen. Make sure that the date and time setting is correct based on the date format and time format. The last option in the analyzer configuration is the Auto Number Reset. Select Auto Number Reset and press Enter to cycle to Yes or No. If you select Yes, the test number will reset each day. If you select No, the test number is unaffected by the date. Once you have selected your desired option, select Exit to go to the menu screen. The last option in the main menu screen is the QC test. Select QC test on the menu and press Enter. This will allow you to run a QC test. Select Run QC test and press Enter to perform a QC test before the next scheduled test time. When a QC test is run for the first time, the analyzer will show this screen if the QC values have not been set up. Return to the initial screen to set the QC values from the initial screen, enter the passcode 420024 to show the QC value setup screen. This screen only recognizes arbitrary values. The values are located on the package insert that comes with your liquid controls. When the cursor is on the level number 1 or 2, press the up or down arrow to navigate between the level 1 and level 2 value screens. Press the left or right arrow to move the digit to be changed and press up or down arrow to increase or decrease the value. Change each of the Analyte QC values in this manner until the values on the screen match the values on the expected values insert. Once you input the QC values, press Enter to save the changes and exit the screen, or you can also press Print to print the current values. When using a new canister of strips, the analyzer will request that a canister code is entered from the new canister the code can be entered manually from the keypad or scanned from the barcode reader if installed. At first startup, the strip holder will fully extend. The screen will be displayed. It will prompt you to scan or enter the canister code. Scan or manually enter the canister code from the strip canister. If the canister code is correct, the analyzer will go directly to the test screen. If you press cancel, the analyzer will return to the initial screen. To begin testing, allow the strip, urine specimen, and or controls to reach room temperature at 15 to 30 degrees Celsius or 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit prior to testing. Remove the strips from the closed canister. Once Start is pressed, the clock will start to count down from 65. The operator has three seconds before the triple beep sounds to immerse the strip into the urine. Immerse the reagent areas of the strip into the sample for one to two seconds after hearing the beep. Then, run the edge of the strip against the edge of the urine container to remove excess urine. Touch the edge of the strip to absorbent paper to avoid mixing chemicals from one pad to another and soiling hands with urine. Place the strip with the reagent area facing upwards onto the strip holder. When the countdown clock on the display reaches one, 
The strip holder will carry the strip inside the analyzer and begin testing. The results will be displayed on the screen and stored in the memory after each test. If auto print is on, the results will be printed. Any abnormal results will be highlighted on the screen and flagged on the printout. Remove the used strip from the strip holder when the strip carrier moves out and discard the used strip according to local regulations. It is important to always keep the analyzer clean. Keep the surface of the instrument free of dust at all times. If needed, the external surfaces may be cleaned using a damp cloth. Do not use any type of solvent, oil, grease, silicone spray, or lubrication on any part of the instrument. For daily cleaning, remove the strip holder by pressing Start to fully extend the strip holder mount. Turn off the power switch after the strip holder mount is fully extended. Then remove the strip holder from its mount by pulling out the sides gently. Clean the strip holder using a lint-free non-absorbent cotton swab ball with distilled water. Be careful and avoid touching the white calibration circle. Then dry with a clean dry cotton ball. Make sure to examine the white calibration circle to ensure that there are no nicks or dirt present. Place the strip holder back on the strip holder mount with the white calibration circle facing up and positioned towards the analyzer. This concludes the operational video for the Aimstrip Urine Analyzer 2.